Hi, my name is Mark Pompus. I'm a woodworker, a uh, furniture designer and maker. Uh, today we're going to go over how to shellac um, a, um, a slice of a tree. So um, I use uh, a product called Zinzer Shellac. And um, so what is shellac? It's, uh, it's a natural resin. It's an excretion that comes out of the, the lac beetle. It's, um, it's collected and then uh, it, uh, it dissolves in alcohol. So there's two chemicals that will dissolve shellac. It's alcohol and the other one is ammonia. So that's the reason you never spray glass cleaner on old antique furniture because it might be made uh, finished with shellac and um, the ammonia that is in Windex will eat the finish. So don't ever do that. But anyway, um, it's a traditional finish. Uh, it's a natural resin. So what is a resin? It's kind of like epoxy. Um, it's not as strong as man-made epoxy, but it's, it's pretty good. And because it's an alcohol, it absorbs deep into the grain and it's great for uh, a first coat. Uh, this is gonna be outside, so what I would put on top of this shellac would be a marine grade uh, varnish. But marine grade varnish is very thick and it will not penetrate as deep as shellac. Um, so that's the first thing you wanna do. All right, so I have two cans of shellac. This one is mostly full, this one has a small reservoir at the bottom and the cool thing is I can store my brushes in here uh, and my rollers and things in this old can and as long as there's a little bit of shellac in there these brushes will not harden and get stiff because if your brush gets stiff you have to dip it in denatured alcohol for at least a half hour to for it to unstiff itself so um, Anyway, so this is a good little trick. You keep your little brush in an old can with a little bit of shellac on the bottom. And then you never have to clean your brush. All right, so make sure you stir it up well. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it go way down into that crack there. You want it to penetrate deep. Um, then you wanna uh, find the other cracks. There's a crack over here. I'm just brushing it. You have to kind of work fast with shellac because it dries right before your eyes. It, it'll start drying. So, so I'm just going pretty quickly here. It'll bring out the natural grain patterns of your wood, which is really nice. Just keep on trucking along. I put a piece of cardboard on my bench because this stuff, when it dries, it gets really sticky. And um, so you really want it to absorb. This is end grain, so uh, that's why it's. Sometimes you'll see little bubbles form. That's because it's absorbing into the wood. You want it to, you're kind of pushing it. I'm pushing it with the strokes. All right, this is a little um, bow tie or um, butterfly. It's just to stabilize it so it won't uh, dry out any further and crack any further. Right, you can cut the video. It, it dries pretty fast, probably uh, two hours, maybe two and a half hours. This whole thing could be standard. Um, so again, uh, there's m most uh, finishes are either water soluble or oil soluble and uh, shellac is neither it's alcohol so you can't you cannot take your brush and um, rinse it in the sink it won't work 
So that's why I just, you know, store it like this. See that? It's just an old can. It's got a little bit of shellac in the bottom. And uh, if it gets a little bit low, I just throw a little bit more in there. And as long as I seal this, my brush is ready for the next application. And you don't have to throw your brush out. And you buy a new one. <laughs>